Wait, hold on. I'm seeing some comment. You guys are believing it? You guys are believing it? How dare you? Those comments, the way she, I don't know, dude. They're crazy. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. My honest opinion, I don't believe it at all. That sounds so silly. I don't believe it. It's probably the mascot's boyfriend. What? Doesn't make any sense. It's crazy. And she's not even pressing charges. She's, she's pushing for a settlement with McGregor, the NBA, and the Heat. First of all, how do you know the difference between the NBA security and the Heat security? <laughs> what? On the finals. The NBA finals. They're fucking, oh, seriously, we got to get McGregor this victim. NBA and the Heat collaborating together. What do you think we can do to, to get it done? We'll have to, we'll have to find some way. You know what I mean? How else are we going to get McGregor a victim for this? It's the only reason he's here. They're not collaborating. <laughs> it's crazy. It is crazy to me that this is even a story. The, the Heat and the NBA literally getting their boy hooked up with like a victim. Like, how does this make any sense? Thank you. And, and the worst part is, here's the worst part of it all, chat. Yes or no? I can see it being, <laughs> I can see McGregor doing it. It's so dumb, isn't it? Because McGregor has just got that fucking coked out attitude right now. I can kind of see maybe some, but not, the, the bit that just loses me is when she said the NBA and the Heat were involved. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. The NBA, the Heat, and Conor McGregor are not collaborating. To, it's just, it's the dumbest thing. If she didn't include the NBA and the Heat being involved, I'd be like, damn, dude, McGregor's really losing it. Like, I don't know, this could be true. You know, I mean, if, if that's all she said, she managed to get free in the bathroom by hitting him a few times and, and, and sprinted away, you know, and got out of there. Who knows? But like, I feel like the only reason she included the NBA in the Heat is so she could include them in the settlement. And the only reason she included them was so she could explain why she was in a men's toilet. Kind of, right? It's obviously fake, but would be hilarious if it's true. Well, it wouldn't be hilarious if it was true. It would be like the biggest uh, thing, the biggest uh, controversy of the, the decade, probably. If the NBA was behind getting women, you know, vatted in an event. Thank you for the eight Australian dollars. Guru, if McGregor's accuser is found out to be wrong, I reckon she should get the exact same punishment he would get if found guilty. No. Worse. Yes or no, chat? Worse. The people that say this about the R-word uh, charge, worse. Women who get R-word charges, pfft, not good enough. Oh, no, you go have fucking happy fun time daycare at prison with the other women. No. If a man gets R word charged or charged in prison, he could be that's a 50% chance of death. Okay. So you you shouldn't just get the same. You should get double. You should get double. Straight up, you should get double. If you're found out to lie, not just found out to not prove that it's true. If you're found out to lie, you should get double. <laughs>